Welcome back everyone to our channel. Today, uh, again, this is Omar from Brownsburg uh, Motorsports. We have this 2017 Chrysler 300S and uh, it's here for some seatbelt replacement. The car has been in an accident, so both front seatbelts has been locked. So you cannot pull them, they will not retract, they're just stuck, locked. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the process on how to remove the seatbelts and the pretensioners on both the front seats. So stay tuned. So like always, the first thing, whenever we're gonna do some airbag work or seat belts, we have to go ahead and disconnect the negative uh, terminal on the battery. And to get that, you have to get, you have to open up the trunk and you're gonna go ahead and lift up this cover over here. You can hang it like this and your negative terminal is right there. You can either remove this here, which is what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna loosen it. And what we need to do is we need to go ahead and grab a, towel or something so that way we put it on top of the terminal so it does not connect back to the battery so i'm just gonna grab a towel and basically sit it over here and we're gonna leave it at that all right so we are on the passenger side we're gonna start with that first and uh, basically there is a bolt uh, that attaches the seat belt to the seat which is right behind this cover and like i was telling you showing you guys earlier the seat belt is locked because of the accident Apparently nobody was wearing the seat belt or probably even sitting here. So the seat belt got locked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling on this. It's pretty loose, you just have to lift it up. There we go. And that piece came off. And that's where our screw is. It's a T50 screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ratchet and I'm gonna go ahead and open this one and then we'll get back with you shortly. All right, so I just wanted to show you pretty much how this is being done. I have my 3.8 ratchet and my T50 socket over there and I'm holding it here to keep it as straight as possible so that way it does not mess up the thread or the screw itself and I'm just going with it slowly and I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking this out and I'll show you what we're gonna do next all right so we got the bolt off from the seat belt so now we can go ahead and uh, move on to the next step into removing the seat belt and everything now to do that I'm gonna go ahead and connect the battery again so I can move the seat to the front as forward possible. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove this by just pulling on it. And this entire piece here, as you can see, there we go, it just comes off. It has like a couple clips over here and one, one over there. So whenever you install it, make sure you do the same process again. You install that one, and then you push it from here and it will sit back properly. I'm gonna go ahead and take this port on the side and we're gonna go ahead and connect the battery. Then we're gonna remove the de rear door trim so that way we can access this panel over here, this B-pillar, so we can get the seat belt off. So stay tuned. All right, so we already removed the front door trim. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this. We're not gonna actually remove it. We're just gonna like loosen it. And to do that, you just pull on it, as you can see. I just want it to be detached from the B-pillar, so we're not gonna actually remove the entire thing. It's really unnecessary. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we're gonna remove the uh, B-pillar. So let's me get another angle and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and remove is the weather strip on both sides. I'm not gonna remove it entirely. I just wanna basically be, I just want it to be away from the B-pillar. I'm gonna remove the one on the front as well. So let me just go ahead and get that. Like I said, again, we don't have to remove it entirely. You just like, you know, loosen it and put it on the side like I just did here. And then we're gonna have a few clips on the side. All right, let's see where our clips at. All right, so first thing we have a couple of clips over here. So you just pull your fingers, push your fingers in between the carpet and the panel and pull on it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. There we go. We release those clips from the bottom over there. And uh, on the front, you just like make it loose from here. And it's gonna be, you just raise it up a little bit. There we go, and it's loose from the bottom now. Then we have, we're gonna have like two clamps over here. Both of them are metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down over here and I'm gonna pull on it. Hold on. There we go. Just gently. Now, the last thing to do on this Chrysler, which basically took me a while to figure out what it was. This entire thing is held with a bolt. Now, as you can see, you don't see space for a bolt over here or like a plastic cover you remove and then there is a bolt like most of the cars do. On the Chrysler, the way they do it is 
they basically have a bolt right over there. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can push it. I'm just getting a good angle. So, right there. That's where the screw is. I believe it's a T20 uh, screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my tool. Keep pushing this a little bit up and try to get it. It is a little bit of a tight fit. So do not be worried about the headliner because it will, I will take shape when you put everything back together. Now, let me just get that screw. Like I said, it is a little bit tight. There we go, we got that screw. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the side so we don't lose it. And then just like that, all we have to do is wobble it a little bit. Let's see, do we have another clamp or? Yep, we got all the clamps. This should be, you just slide it down. And because the entire thing is one piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead from the front side and pull it from the bottom in that direction. So let me show you how we're going to do that. All right. I'm going to put this weather strip over here. There we go. See, all I, I did not apply any force. All I did is just pull on it from the side and the entire thing came off. Now I'm going to go ahead and release the seat belt from here. Right, we got the seat belt. I'm gonna put it on the side again, and I'm gonna take this panel off out, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a safe spot so it does not break or anything. Okay, now the last thing we have to do first, like I said, make sure that your battery is disconnected always because we moved the seat earlier, we had to connect it. So, we're gonna go ahead and move this connector over here. To do that, you're gonna need a pick angle preferably i'm gonna try to get that in there between let me just get a better angle here there we go and you're just gonna pull on it a little bit slowly slowly no excessive force then just like that now we have the harness connected to the actual seat belt retractor since we're gonna take off the retractor i'm gonna go ahead and move that harness clip Last, we have a bolt in the bottom over here. It's a T50. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and then I'll we'll, we'll show you what we're gonna do next. Just You just have to push the carpet a little bit, so don't worry about that. Just push it a little bit and start opening the screw. And as soon as I get the screw off, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so we went ahead and removed the screw on the bottom. That one was, as well was a T50, just like the one held to the seat. So to remove this, it's just the bolt, uh, it's just the screw on the bottom. And then you're gonna go ahead and raise this up, wobble it. And let me show you where it's gonna come from. There we go, see? Basically this locks it in place over there. So when you put it back, you lock this in place and then you put the screw in the bottom. Take it off, this is what we do. Now we have a plastic clamp that holds the screw, that holds the seat belt. Let me get this out of the way to show you. So you just see that piece over there? You just push it and this thing will come off. And the same thing on the other side push it and it will come off. It is a little bit tricky with the spots. I just already opened the first one. So probably better if I push on the other side. All right. Like I said, it is a little bit tricky. There we go. Now, that's how the clamp, that's how the clip is. Basically what we did is we just pushed this end and this end and it came out. Now, the last thing we have is this uh, bolt over here. I believe that's a uh, 14 millimeter. So I'm gonna grab my socket, get this bolt off and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so uh, that was a 14 millimeter nut up top over there. So just to recap, basically the first thing we did was uh, we disconnected the battery, we removed the bolt on the seat the screw which was a t50 then we removed the door trim on both sides and then we removed the weather strip we had two clamps over there two clamps over here and one screw right over there on top and to get to that screw as you can see we just push the headliner get to that screw which is a t20 torque 20 and uh, as you can see the headliner went back to its original shape already like you know how it was like pushed it earlier that line over there is just from the b pillar so that you don't have to worry about but there, as, you, as you see there's no cracks or nothing they make these things pretty sturdy, but I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta be honest, this design here, 
is garbage. I've never seen anything like this before. All cars, they usually have like a plastic piece. You open it and there is a screw that holds the entire pillar over there. But anyway, uh, this is pretty much how you remove the seat belt on a uh, 2015 and up Chrysler uh, 300, whether it's the S or the C, all of them have the same concept, uh, the same parts. Now, what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upload another video to show you how to remove the pretensioner because as always, anytime a car gets in an accident and a seat belt gets damaged, whether locked or open all the way and it will not retract, usually the pretensioner, if the car is equipped with one, for each seat will have to be reset. So, uh, stay tuned for the other video. Hope you enjoyed uh, this video today. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget, like and share for more.